Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. It is another month of Just Our Imagination, hosted by Brenda Rustican Lace, co host, the busy housewife, and our other co host, Kathy Joe's DIYs. If you haven't watched these ladies, do it. Project number one. Well, our challenge this month was to use a mousetrap, spoons of any kind, and clothespins. Yeah, I couldn't remember. So I've been wanting to work on this uh, little letter carrier for quite a while. It's just outdated and it could use a shabby chic update from yours truly. I'm using some DIY um, white. It's a cottage color, which means it has a sealant in it. Most of them are chalk. Well, this is chalk too, but it has a, a sealer in it. Most of them that are chalk, you have to use a sealer on this, on and they, but this kind you don't. So I decided I was just gonna cover the front there. That way, the transfers I end up putting on will be standing out very nicely. When you do transfers or any kind of like decoupage, it's better to put a white underneath of it. So this is the IOD transfers that came out just before Christmas. I've been wanting to do something with these little fairies, but never got a chance at Christmas to do it. So I'm thinking the big ones will look best. Now I'm cutting them out and laying them out. Figure out where I want to put, place them. And it cuts it off a little bit, but it still looks great to me. I'm using my uh, tool that they always put in every pack. It's a nice heavy plastic. I just love it. I use it on all kinds of things. I give it a good rub and it starts coming up. And when I put it over the edge, it had cut itself off. And as I lift it, you can see if there's any spots that haven't been put down, then I will go over them. And it lifted off the bottom and I'm just smoothing that along the bottom. And here are the other ones. And I'm giving it a little bit of burnish. I am putting a little bit on the clothespins that was left over on the sheets just to cover them. Now I'm putting the clothespins on the edge so that way I can clip a note up there or something if I need to. And I actually put a couple along the bottom but they popped off so I've got to glue them back on. giving it a little distress with the dark wax from uh, DIY. I went over and Mod Podged it all first, or decoupaged, I should say. Mod Podge is a brand. And I used the Aileen's. I'm liking the way it's looking. Oh, there I am putting the Aileen's on. I put it on after I dark waxed. That just helps seal everything in. And so uh, it doesn't scratch so easy. So this is project number two. I did this before Christmas. This is a cutting board, bamboo cutting board from Dollar Tree. And I made these molds with foam clay uh, in one of the IOD molds. I guess I didn't film me 
to doing the whole process, but here it was all finished and I'm painting it white. The foam mold is a little different to use. If you don't use it right away, it kind of cracks, but the paint helps seal it. I love these molds, they're really gorgeous. I haven't used uh, resin in them yet, but I am going to try the resin. And there's a quick set resin. And there's number two, it's got a little bigger. Oh, just showing you what the molds look like. So you can see how Just pointing it out to you. The ones I used. Okay, so giving everything a good coat of paint. And this is the same paint with the sealer in it. I thought I had my camera on and I didn't. But I went back and I put some transfers on it and I dark waxed everything. Now I'm using some weld bond to put it on this uh, Dollar Tree sign. I painted that white and also gave it some dark wax. I hate it when I forget to hit the button or think I have. Now I'm setting that in place. Putting a little hot wax on it too to set it fast. Wipe button off any extra I got there. I love the cottage core shabby chic look this has. It was like, oh, what am I going to do with it? At first, I thought I was going to do the nice traps, but then I decided I wanted to keep it light and airy, so I put in uh, clothespins. And I think I could clip flowers there or note cards for any season. I am giving it a once over with some, with a stamp that is gold, just to give it a little highlight there. couldn't find my rub and buff. This seems to be working pretty well. Mm, you can hear an airplane out there. Project number three. Yeah, I bought this from Jamie Ray Vintage and it was already painted. I didn't like the color. It was a little too yellow green for me. So I am painting it, you can't tell, it's a really soft green, it's called aviary. It's my favorite paint lately. I just love the touch of it. It's just a really subtle little green. It gives everything such a, a sweet look. Sorry, Jamie, just didn't like that yellow green on there. in all the edges. And I think I went over this two or three times. Now this is a regular of the um, clay paint that they have. This could be distressed yeah, with a wet anyway. washcloth. Do do yeah, there it is all painted. And I thought, well, I'll use the moss strips on this. And I painted those green. Giving them a little second touch up. So I took everything off except the big main spring and the clapper, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Are there names on mousetraps for the parts? I bet there are. But I got another transfer from IOD. 
And the birds were all together, but I cut them apart. Uh, hoping they look okay on there. Just trying to place it. Now there, I'm getting ready to rub down. And I lift it up and it's all stuck. Just trying to line them up and you can see where they were sitting on a branch and just trying to get that all lined up. using the aliens again and I'm decoupaging everything. I forgot the camera again and I glued the my straps down but I put it up so I can like put little cards in there for the season. I mean I hang it by my front door and that way we could hang the hats on it or dog leashes and I put a rope on it. Didn't finish it off because it's just for me and it's going toward the wall. There it is. I think that looks sweet. Just making sure the traps. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. I'm 10 short from get to 3000. Project number four or three. Yeah, this is project number three. One, two, three. Yeah. These are enamel plates that I got at an online estate auction. I am looking at decoupage paper to see what I want to put on there. Most of these are JRV, Jamie Ray. Look at the bunny ones, aren't those cute? I will be using those. You can order them from Jamie Ray Vintage. They make smaller ones and very large ones. And these are all their new papers. Love them. But I still wasn't sure what I wanted to put on there. I want the enamel plates to be usable all year. So I thought, oh, I don't know if that bunny's too season seasonable or not. Roses, they're pretty. Um, I like the farm animals. Oh, this one, this one works out good. And I love the blue and light. Okay, just putting some of the Punch Punch Medium on the enamel plate. It's kind of like a platter laying this cool, I guess it would look like a feed sack or something, doesn't it? And I don't know. It's a lot of wording on there, so. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I think I got this paper from somebody else. I've ordered papers from all over the place. Now here's the littler one. Thought it'd look cute for a big one and a little one. Just trying to adjust where I want to put it and giving it a little rub down, trying to get it up along the sides. And I took the paper off with water around the edge and tore it back but I don't know it looked a little too raggy to me so I thought I needed to put something around the edge and I've got some lace that I got from Amazon I believe and I thought well that's a good size and it matches the papers 
just wanted to trim it out. Oh yeah, and I used the spoons. And I bent the spoons to be like hangers. Gosh, I've been forgetful of hitting that record button. Sorry about that, guys. used one glue on it and it didn't glue on very good so then I used this marine bond glue and oh my gosh it it, whew, it welds everything on there I swear but it, it like is foams up and it kind of came out the side so I had to cut it back and it was an interesting project so you can see I took a little dark wax there and went around the sides I'm trying to decide what flowers I want to go to the ends. And I, this is so pure shabby chic. I gotta hang this in my bedroom and hang necklaces from it. I wanted to shabby down the shiny spoons a little bit. So these roses I got from Timu. I just love their flowers. They are so pretty. And these flowers just add something that just oh my gosh it just makes it pop I figure I needed to put a few little rose leaves in there This is a bonus project. Everybody was talking about making carrots, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna make some carrots. So I took apart uh, some clothespins, and then you just put them back to back and glue the carrot, glue the sides together, and it makes carrots. And then, of course, I painted them orange, and then I took a mouse trap completely apart, painted that green. I'm gluing the carrots in place putting moss around the edges. And the reason I'm making this is I've got a friend for you to meet. Brenda brings Oliver on, I'm gonna bring my little friend on too. I love Oliver, I think he's so cute though. I just cut off a little bit of a leaf on this because I thought, oh gosh, they're so little, I need some sort of little tops for them. And I'm just kind of cutting it up in little strips. A little bit of glue, hold it in place. Trying to adjust it there. Add more glue, hold it in place. And there it is, all done. Oh, and there's a little friend that I can put by it. But here comes my real friend. That little bunny I got from Timu. This is Nutmeg, he's my baby. I gave him a treat, he's sitting up on the chair. But then he gets shy and he turns away from the camera. He's a little sweetheart. Look at him turn away, a little stinker. Uh, Nutmeg and I say goodbye and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.